Hey everybody, it's Neil. The, um, this is what I was saying, my idea, quick idea, not my idea, whatever, a good idea for the flower pot heater. It would be a small flame, of course this one's big because I got the overly stupid size cell for this, but if we were to have, these are tungsten rods, just a flame, just touching that rod, you can see how much heat is emitted from the flame just touching it. One thing I've noticed always with HHO flame is that once it touches something, that's when the heat starts coming. It's like the um, the gas kind of gets into the structure of the, whatever it's touching, the steel, the tungsten, copper. But you can see here with just a little tiny flame that you're going to get a huge reaction from the tungsten rod. And it won't, of course, it'll be resilient to melting because of its high melting temperature. So, you see that? Is that an idea for inside a flower pot? Now, Justin was telling me we can get down to 20 watt flame. So with a 20 watt flame, we could probably pull some serious heat, more than that candle, that's for sure. And this little cute torch. I love it. Justin's got them on his website, and I think they're awesome. Anyways, they're cute little guys. <laughs> There's the, it just gets super hot, you know. So with a small flame, you can make a massive amount of heat underneath that ceramic flower pot. And I like these torches. You shut them off, they don't pop. Look at that. It's way cool. And... Cool. Excellent little torch. Comes with a bunch of different tips and a wrench to tighten it too. I like it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Maybe this will be a good idea for a quick, quick solution to a flower pot heater now. And then we'll work on the honeycomb substrate inside the flower pot. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Neil.